So today I got a pretty busy day. Um, I got some lower traps uh, to check that are kind of on my drive out to my main area. And then there's a dead end road that I turn off on that has 10 traps. And that's where I've caught five of the last cats. So pulling all those and moving those to a different dead end road. And then check all the traps. And then uh, hopefully we can get on some new cats. Um, I could probably keep catching cats in the spot but since i have all males right now i want to try to avoid females especially since with all these toms the kitten population has to be hurting out here so i'm gonna get those moved hopefully can find a new spot you know it's, sometimes it's easy just to oh i'm catching so i can keep my traps here but uh, normally it's gonna die off and then you can sit and wait for storms or whatever to push new cats through but i find it best to move to other spots and I hope I can get a few more. So anyways, hopefully you find some good spots. Hopefully you can catch some fur today. Hopefully it's a great check. Boom. Had a pretty slow day checking. And uh, looks like I caught a desert wolverine. He's up there sleeping. Had a kind of dirt hole set right here. And there he is. What are you doing, Mr. Badger? I do not like skinning you, but I know someone who uh, asked me if I catch a badger to let him have it. So I'm gonna let him have this badger because they are not fun to skin. But I have like a dirt hole set right here. My bait stick's still up there so I can remake it. And, uh, Got it on a drag, it was on that bush over there. So, see what we can do on the remake. Well, he woke up, not very happy. This is a first for me as an exposed trap. It's a whole bunch of coyote tracks coming from down here and you can see them over here as well. But, uh, they flip my trap. I had them dig up traps and flip them, but never an exposed trap, so. Hmm. Well, put it back in, and this is where I caught <coughs> the first cat, um, you know, last week when I got seven. Caught in this set here, so. Coyote smelt my lure. They probably uh, scratch at that because it smells like cat pee. So I get re repositioned and reblocked, and hope they don't do it again. That was a long slow check. I had a uh, another trap that was fired off by a coyote, but I didn't have my sifter with me uh, after I caught that last coyote, so I just sprinkled sand on it. And I got some rocks in the jaw. So. Uh, I still don't have my stuff with me, so I'll have to fix that stuff up next time. Caught that badger. And uh, found a fresh turd in a wash right next to the road, so I went back ways and set that. Earlier today, I set another couple sets in a wash that had a lot of turds in it. And found a couple filler sets. So I pulled 10 and only got seven out but uh saturday brody now i'll try getting out more uh we're gonna start expanding the line more this way i give that new spot a couple weeks uh, or maybe just we might just give it a week and then uh keep that in this direction and then head to the next range and trap a different range for the last month of the season nice morning today got brody with me we left uh bow at home 
He gets cold so easy, that kid has like zero body fat and eats a lot. So a lot of times you have to stay in the truck and I felt bad because Brody always wants to get out but he needs to stay in the truck with his brother. And so we left his brother at home. It's just me and him today. And we're pulling my lower elevation filler sets because I'm almost out of traps and we gotta get a new area set up so we can hopefully start catching cats again. So we're gonna get new, more area set in a new area and get traps checked and hopefully have a fun day. I know we'll have a fun day. Hopefully we can catch something on this fun day. So we uh, try to pull the camera out to get in the trap, but caught a kit fox on bud. So we got something today. Let's put it in the truck and keep going. Can you throw it in there? Try it. Nice job. So here we are in our new spot. You can see coyote track there. Easy way to tell coyote track is the stride. Like there's the track there, track there. Pretty big stride. Here's the bobcat track. Look how close the steps are. Cats have eight to 10 inch stride. Coyote has like, I think like 14 inch stride. So yeah, my foot's 12 inches. These cat tracks I can easily get my foot over. So there's a cat that just recently went down this wash, the only thing is, is there's also vehicles going down this wash, but it might have came down this little side wash. We're gonna go check that out. This is Brody's set. I've just helped put those rocks in because they're heavy. See that stick right over your pan? See that little stick sticking over the pan? Yeah, move that. All right, there you go. Looks a little too big. That's fine. Good? Mm. Yeah. It's good? Mm -hmm. So now we our third wash checking out and there's another set of bobcat tracks. We're gonna go up here and put a set up here. So uh, I can see our chain's tight. Go over here, bud. Over here, over here. See our chain's tied over here, but I don't know what we got. Oh, it's what Bo, it's what Brody wanted us to catch today. I'm surprised it didn't dig all this up. See it sitting by the side of that Joshua tree? It started digging, it didn't dig much. Look at the chain. Badger. Oh man, that one's got the stripe clear down the back. That is cool. You don't see it clear down the back like that. I got a guy who wants this for uh, his kid's jujitsu instructor. They call him Honey Badger. So he's gonna, wants to get a badger mounted and this is a perfect badger for you, sheep hunt. So this badger will be coming home with us. With this trap set, I was showing Bryce last time that I don't do cubbies. I always make it like a walkthrough. So I had this set up. Instead of building a cubby in there, I just made a walkthrough through it. Because then the cat doesn't feel closed in. Which I don't know if that really matters for cats anyways. But That's what you wanted today more than anything, huh? It was a badger. Yeah. Or I guess you wanted a bobcat more. but Yeah, but I wanted more badger stuff. Yeah. Yep, no, all right. Box. Sweet. Brody got a hot spot on his feet, so gonna come check this trap out with me. I've been seeing cat tracks around this area. I saw new tracks today closer to the truck. I saw some tracks last uh, Saturday or Friday, and I caught a bobcat. Caught a bobcat here two years ago. It's uh, in my old intro video. 
we have a smaller cat today. And the intro video is up on that branch, but this cat's laying down here. I got another trap set up here. I didn't see tracks. Oh yeah, there's its track right there coming in here. So, don't know if this is the track I've been seeing by the truck too, but the truck looks a little smaller than the other track I've been seeing, but sweet. Real pretty bobcat. The last bobcat I caught here was dark back like that, but had an awesome belly. We got a cat today. Cat moved. Looks a little cooler sitting in this position. Not happy. All right, here's the remake. So we're tangled up, made sure I put a lot of uh, blocking in there because that's gonna be, of course, the best cat smells. I made sure I put a lot of Cheney signature scents on this side, put a little bit on that side, but mainly on this side and cat urine. Just kind of try to draw them to this side of the set to try to get them to avoid it, but another Tom, not as big as the other cats we've been catching, but I tried this area before, the Tom we had that was up on here in my intro videos it was big but the other cats we typically catch in here about this size so been fortunate with big cats so time to get some smaller cats but it'll probably still go 36 36 might go 34 36 is the number you want to hit that's what the fur buyers want for their cats but pretty 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 cat and a decent belly on this one too how long their fur starts getting this time of year. So I got another set up the wash further. Go check that. And then uh, keep checking the line. All right, I thought that cat came up the wash and got caught. But it looks like it came down the wash and got caught. I didn't see what compared to my boot. You know, it's eight inch stride. So maybe there's something plugging my trap up here, depending on where this cat entered the wash. And this is why I didn't get caught in this set. This is, you can see where that cat came and checked it out. But well, Brody's gonna be pumped. He really wants to keep that other badger because of how pretty it is. So he's like, hopefully we catch another badger and he'll be happy because I did catch another badger. Okay, I filled in the hole a bunch right here. Kept those holes there. Relured this. This makes a lot of eye appeal. So, Marcini signature, some cat urine. Go pick up the cat we caught and haul that and this badger back to the truck. Brody is not going to be happy because his two favorite animals to trap are badgers and bobcats and we caught both of them here and it's the one trap set he stayed in the truck so i'm back over at this trap set i'm looking at these cat tracks again and there was another cat with it because this is out of the reach of the cable and there's a uh, cat tracks going down there's another cat with that cat i only had two sets of this wash I might have caught both of them. Normally when you see tracks like this and there's another cat with it, if it was another cat, you normally catch it pretty quick. See right here where it came back and turned around. So normally it comes back pretty quick. So there is another cat with it. I should have it, but I take these two back to the truck. All right, here's that Tom. It went 36 and a half, so it's 36 inch class cat. Really nice belly. This guy's got dark, super dark spots, which is really good. So I'm about caught up. I got the bobcat and a coyote still I gotta put up. So I'll do those later, but this is the cat from yesterday. Real happy with it. Real happy with the season so far. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.